Hi there. Um, so I'm back from my weekly weigh-in, probably like week 23 or 24. Um, so last week I had had a gain of 0.8. I was at 187.8. And this morning I weighed in at 184.2. So that is a loss of, I believe, 3.6 pounds. So I'm very happy with that. So I feel like I made up for that 0.8 gain last week with a, with a pretty good loss this week. So... Um, you know, I'm happy. I'm really happy about that. Now this week I'm going to head to Arizona for a couple of days to see my mother and my sister. And I'm going to work for, you know, work in the office for a couple of hours each day as well. Um, and the boys are going with me. So I don't do, I don't seem to do well when I travel. Um, so I don't know what my weight is going to be next week. But I'm happy this week with a 3.6 pound weight loss. So that's good. I need to get my hair done. Um, and my sister does it in Arizona. Um, the other day, or not the other day, I guess, I guess it's been a couple of weeks ago, we were FaceTiming one another, my sister and I, and I just had my hair, I'd taken a shower, so I had it back just like in, in like a little bun on the back of my head, and it was all slick, and, um, and she was just laughing, and she was like, you look just like dad right now, and I was like, like dad, like, I don't want to look like a man, you know, and she's like, no, because like your hair because it literally looked like I was bald on top. So my dad has like hair around here and then just little sprigs of hair on top. And I was like, aw, thanks for letting me know I look like our bald father. That's amazing. So anyway, I hope that getting my hair, um, you know, colored is gonna, is gonna help. So anyway, um, lately there have been some people who've been doing um, videos like, I guess like grocery haul videos. And I don't really have like anything exciting in terms of like what I buy for groceries, but I thought that I would share some of the things that I eat because I have found a lot of value in those videos, just different ideas and stuff like that. So um, anyway, I thought that I would I would share some. So um, these great value, fully cooked grilled chicken breast fillets. Um, I will generally, like if I'm hungry, I'll just get one and put it in a paper towel and just like literally like, like eat it cold. Um, or I will heat it up sometimes and I'll put it in a... Um, in a salad. Um, but these have, for one filet, it's 130 calories, 9 fat, and 0 carbs, 13 proteins. So um, because I, I, my preference is low carb at this point, and, and it, it works for me when I do it, um, these these are just great, and I generally buy, I don't, I don't often shop at Walmart because there's not one in my town. The closest one is probably about 25 or 30 minutes away. So when I do go, I generally will... Um, will stock up on these. So uh, this is my second bag from, from last week. Um, I have not had these yet, but these are like Morningstar sausage links. Um, I was telling the girls this week I had my support group. Um, True Results is where, I, here in Austin, is where I got my lap band surgery, or who did the lap band surgery. Um, and they have a support group that they where we meet once a month. <clears throat> now I know that that doctor from True Results does I cannot even imagine the number of lap bands that he does per year. I mean, just even on the day that I went, I think he had like 12 to do or something, and I may be over, you know, overselling that, but it, he had a ton of lap band surgeries to do that day. Um, and this week at, at support group, there were only five of us there. And like, I, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have that lap group. Like once a month, I was telling Brandy this week, Brandy Spangler, you know, like, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Like I feel, you know, there's a point for me, I can't speak for all women, but for me, where like maybe a week before my time of the month or the week of my time of the month, I just feel completely out of whack and crazy and not in control. Like I want to run away or hide in a closet and just be left alone. And I started to feel that way this week, but it, it ain't my time of month. So I don't know what happened, but I got to um, the support group on Thursday and I just felt refreshed. You know, I don't, I guess it's just like talking to other people, you know, hearing their struggles, realizing that I'm not the only one that's having some of the struggles that I'm having. And so it just, which is the same with this YouTube community, like, um, you know, watching other people's videos. It's just that the support group is real time. So you can actually talk face to face, you know, you can have a conversation. But anyway, that, that whole story was leading to this. So I, I had complained that um, they got like Jimmy Dean sausage links and sausage crumbles and the little like turkey sausage patties, right? And I said, you know, the thing is my husband eats those every day. Like he really likes them. I do not like them though because when I bite into them, sometimes there's hard things in them. And I find that with turkey meat as well sometimes. Like there, and I'm like, what the hell is there something hard in there for? And it grosses me out. Like it really grosses me out. I, I just don't like it. So anyway, someone had recommended these and said you, you won't run into that with these. So I'm eager to try them. Um, now, with these, you do sometimes run into, 
like those weird things where it's like, well, what the hell is that in there? And so I just try to ignore it and push it away, but you know, sometimes you just can't. Now, I got these Maryland style crab cakes and I thought, oh, the Morningstar things, um, 80 calories for two links, total fat three, total carb three, and protein nine. So I'm pretty happy with that protein. So these Maryland style crab cakes are really gross. Um, I got them because for one cake, it was like eight carbs, but 11 protein. So I thought, ooh, it was 170 calories, total fat 11. So like I thought, you know, one of these would be pretty good, but it, it has a lot of those things. Like it's like they left the crab shell in the crab cakes. That's not a good taste. Um, next is these, these Lunchables, not these specifically because I buy these for my kids and they have the cookies in them and I think this is like 20 carbs but there's one that has um, turkey cheese and the mini Ritz crackers and those have only and I only remember the amount of carbs but I'm sure the calories and fat were low as well but the amount of carbs for one of these um, with the Ritz the cheese and the and the turkey is 10 carbs and sometimes even like if it's late and I don't want to eat like, you know, eat something that would be heavy or, you know, heavier, heavier, I'll say. Um, sometimes I'll just open this and just eat the cheese. And it's, it's like a white cheese. I'll eat the cheese and the turkey out of it. And that's really good. But I don't mind, you know, 10, 10 carbs for this is, is pretty good for me. Um, of course, my tried and true. It's like the skies open and the angels sing. Mm, love this. But it's, um, I went back to my natural Peter Pan. Uh, I, I tried others, and I just didn't want to spend any more money trying some more of them, so I, I'm just sticking with the natural Peter Pan. I like the carbs in it, even though the calories are like 20 more. Um, it just tastes wonderful and delicious, and there was something else that I was going to say about it, but I've lost it because I'm old. Um, so, oh, I know what I was going to say. So I had said on, Saturday, on Sunday that I was going to try to do this once a day, and not even once a, like once a day, like maybe every couple of days, and I, I failed at that, actually. I did have it every single day, and then I, uh, there may have been a couple of days where I had it twice because it is just so delicious. But, you know, what, one thing that I did do differently is I did not eat avocados this week. So I think that the combination of avocados and the peanut butter wasn't good for me. So I'm going to have to choose one or the other, and at this point, avocados are going to fall behind the peanut butter because i got to have that. Um, this was the the bar that I spoke about a couple weeks ago. It's it's Mojo Sweet and Salty Trail Mix Bar Peanut Butter Pretzel. Um, let me tell you what is in this. Um, one bar is 190 calories, total fat 9, total carb 20, and protein 9. Um, now, I love these things, and I used to eat them. And I, I bet you I put away more than one a couple days. Um, but these are really, really delicious. Um, so what I have started to do is I've began to... To, to half them so like to cut them in half so that it's only 10 carbs and again I'm looking more at the carbs than I am anything else at this point um, but it's it's only 10 carbs when I do it that way so I, I have you know like I'll have a half of it one day I generally try not to do it on the same day that I have the peanut butter but sometimes I don't do that you know so I put my peanut butter and my Greek yogurt generally in this little guy or um, there's another but I don't have it here and so I can mix it up. So I'll put the, the two tablespoons of peanut butter first, and then I use the same spoon to dip out the Greek yogurt, and then I just mix it up and eat it, and it's delicious. Um, when I eat my salads with the chicken, um, what I generally do is put it into one of these kind of little guys. Um, so I put the salad in, and then I put the chicken in, and then I will put um, a little bit of dressing on top. That way I can put this on and shake it up, and it coats all of the salad, and I feel like I don't need as much dressing. So that's good, too. Anyway, that's all I've got. So I hope everyone has an amazing week, and I will see you next week. Bye.